cold. It's very cold here. I'm actually feeling really cold now as well. The most active area tonight. Being told, don't come any further. They did not want her to enter the room. I just got mad goosebumps. In this cell, I could hear footsteps. The baby had unfortunately passed away. Back in those days. Mother. Wow. There's a noose here. What sound like footsteps out in the courtyard? Can you stop that, please? On command. Stop. You want me to stop recording? Off. Oh. Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are investigating an allegedly very haunted old convict jail in Albany, Western Australia. And the stories coming out of this place are pretty intense. So stay tuned. Albany is a small coastal town in Western Australia. It is a place filled with history and no other building contains more than the Albany Convict Jail. This aging prison dates back to 1852 and is today considered to be very haunted. Many to enter the building have reported strange sensations, heard unexplainable noises and even seen apparitions from the past. During our own paranormal investigation of this location, we found the former prison to be quite active, documenting many strange events onto camera. Here are our findings. We're kicking off tonight as we normally do with a walkthrough of this building. Obviously I'm gonna have ghost tube running as well because you guys have been really digging that whilst we do the walkthrough. I've got a few stories to share with you guys, history and some areas that I find particularly strange that I'm going to talk about as we go through. Also, I just want to shout out the Albany Historical Society because they've helped me tee up this investigation tonight. This place is absolutely incredible, amazing. Highly recommend visiting if you can get to WA. Like, this place is so cool. Hey, Jared. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Ghost tube is rolling and we're just going to do our walk through now. Now, if there are any spirits around tonight at the old Albany jail, my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared. We come in peace and we would love to just communicate if there is somebody around. I do want to just make note of all the amazing artifacts in here. There is a lot of history to this building. Is that a saw? Could well be. I mean, built in 1852, this place was. It operated for a long time, a few different, in a few different ways, but in the 1940s, they were like, yeah, not fit for living anymore. But there's so much to look at here if you come to visit. And in this room, mannequins everywhere. You guys know how we dig that <laughs> on Amy's trip. Always a little bit unsettling walking around a corner and there's a human right there. person singing. Singing. Can you sing for me? Turning a corner guys, I have a feeling this will be the most active area tonight. This is where the men were kept, this cell block here. I've been here when Andrew has um, volunteered and a, a story that he has told has stuck with me and that was that a lady had made her, been making her way through the male cells and got to a particular male cell but had been told don't come any further, that they did not want her to enter the room. So she uh, turned around, made her way back to reception area. Andrew had, had said, are you, are you all right? Are you, uh, is there something wrong? Are you not feeling well? And she said, no, they've told me not to enter the room. Being here by myself uh, and cleaning down here, this hallway, um, and heard an almighty crash. And then as I went to investigate, no, nothing had moved, nothing had fallen. So I'm guessing a polite way of saying, um, <laughs> time to go home and uh, leave us be. This hallway looks very creepy at night, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> it really, really does. It feels very still and stale in here as well. I thought that came from this way. And stale in here is and stale in here is and stale in here is that, that was in here, right? Was, yes. Just go in first, Joe. <laughs> Great. Is that 
So maybe the sign or... Oh, here we go. It could very well be that. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to yeah. note so, that. So, making a note of that exact noise and not paranormal. This cell, two-man cell, uh, sometimes they squeezed more than two people into a cell, which will bring me to one of the darker stories of the prison, which is the cell next door. Now I say darker story, which is quite fitting because behind me is the isolation cell and it was nicknamed the black hole for this particular jail and there is a ghost story to go with this one. The black hole was known as where they held several drunken soldiers for 24 hours. After 24 hours when they had opened the door unfortunately they had lost one due to suffocation and as people were fined when they entered the black hole it is such a very confined area. We've had a, a visitor that had um, had stood in the black hole and then made her way around and then come back through to reception area and said she um, felt a swaying obviously from the, the drunken soldiers being in there. So allegedly, and there's a couple of different tellings of this story, but somewhere around 20 men were shoved into this cell one night for a whole night. And you can see it ain't big. It is tiny. Yeah. So by morning, one of these men, or, you know, I've heard or read conflicting stories, some say three men in the morning were dead within this cell. And from a paranormal perspective, I think it's, I can't remember which corner, to be honest. It said the left corner, but which is left. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> one of the back corners back here People report a strange feeling in, so I don't know if there's energy that lingers here from that, but that would have been such a traumatic event. And actually, someone had even commented and said that they felt almost drunk in there, like the room was swaying, which fits into that story again, because all of the men that were shoved in there were drunken sailors. I feel we're going to have good luck in this room. Reason being is earlier tonight, Jar and I were running around doing B-roll and we were doing this with Linda. Linda showed us in, we interviewed Linda. She is a cleaner here, so has spent a lot of time at the old jail and she was telling us some stories. And she just kind of hung out with us, we were talking and chatting away while we were doing this B-roll. I swear to God, I heard footsteps. And I can tell you exactly what I heard. I was standing here, I was going to walk past, Jared was filming me from the cell behind him. In this cell I could hear footsteps and it was right behind me and it sounded very much not that loud but we are on a wooden floor so it's quite a distinct noise um, that your feet make. I'm start on the right hand side Ames. Hang on a sec. So you're going to start on the right hand side and walk to the left. And so, Linda, do you mind just stepping to the your right a uh, few metres, a couple metres? No, I'm just hearing like footsteps. Okay, you ready, Ames? Wait, Jared, come here. What's going on? I heard just hear footsteps or something, like movement on the wood. Was it me? I don't think it was, well, it was from in here. So I guess there's police memorabilia in here. out there obviously there's a car going past is that the yard i think so yeah let's go straight out into the yard because that sounds like someone with a tool on stone that wasn't this bike then was it that high pitch sound you have a squeaking i don't know Let's 
Let's go quick. Let's figure this out. Side of the wall, right, Jared? Yeah. Doesn't look like we can access that. Very weird. Alright, guys, so now we're entering the opposite end of the jail. And this here is quite interesting. There are ghost stories centered here, too, but it was also the women's wing. So, much smaller cell block. This particular Saturday morning, I chose to clean the female side first and had been sweeping down the hallway and had footsteps coming down behind me, thinking that it was one of the volunteers that would come looking for me to have a, a bit of a chat. So not paying any attention, I kept working and thinking, wow, this um, has taken a time in finding me. So I stopped what I was doing, stuck my head back through reception area and um, nobody there. I have a couple of cells here. Now Jared's favourite. Mannequin. More like the least <laughs> favourite. And you'll see why. That's why. Yeah, I love that. Love that. But that's not the one with the ghost story, is it? No. To me, this one here would be the most interesting cell. Cell 25. So interesting that they've had to put this on. Ooh, it tells the ghost story. It literally tells the ghost story. There is a knocking ghost in cell 25. Numerous people have heard this sound. Cool. Is there anyone home tonight? So knocking ghost has been heard in here, but also there's a story to go with this one's mannequin. So this one here, we've got a lady depicted with her baby. Now, a lot of the convict women who were or the prisoners who were female in here, their kids came with them or, you know, they gave birth in here. Kids were raised here because they had nowhere else to be other than with their parent. Uh, allegedly, there's a story to go with this particular cell where a lot of people hear babies crying and it's believed that a woman lost a baby here so maybe she's still pining the loss of the child. I told the story of a young girl with a speech impairment that had had a baby. Uh, the baby had unfortunately passed away and a lot of our visitors had said they could hear a female crying. They did get a priest in to bless the room to stop the crying. As the story goes, the young girl died of a broken heart. The most um, reportings that we have is the cell with the lady with the baby. It is kind of creepy to see this image here, but it's also just like telling of how harsh those times were and the fact that there is a ghost story like that just further demonstrates how tough it would have been to live back in those days. Mother. Wow. Now, thank you so much if that's you trying to make contact with us. My name is Amy and this is Jared. Um, we come in the greatest of respects and we appreciate, I was literally just talking about how tough those times would have been. And I do try to mention this in these historic jails that we visit. Um, not everyone was necessarily a bad person in places like this. Sure, we've, you know, heard some stories about a serial killer who, you know, passed through or was here, but sometimes you might get sent away for things such as theft and that is just you trying to make ends meet um, or provide for your family you know what I'm saying so it's very sad to hear mother and it fits in with that story that's I can't believe we've got mother that's a very uncanny given the story of this room and what you were just talking about that is giving me mad like oh, chills shivers everything 
I reckon we're gonna have luck in this cell as well tonight. And I think, you know, we were talking to Linda earlier and she did mention asking permission from the spirits to film, which is something that Jared and I kind of did before we started rolling all the cameras. We just walked around and just introduced ourselves. You know, I've seen a lot of other investigators who say that they do that type of thing as well, just to make the spirits feel at ease. So maybe that is why we got mother and maybe we'll get more if she does feel at ease with us. We just set up an SLS to monitor the hallway. So you can see Jared is setting up a cat ball on it right now. And the REM pod went off down the hallway. I think we caught it on the SLS. In case it picks up something. Oh. Oh, good call. It did just go off, right? Yeah. Just as I press cord, pity. Okay, so if there is somebody around and you want to communicate and make your presence known, we're going to be doing some uh, different ways to talk to you right now. But one way you can show us that you're here is to go and touch those balls in the hallway or go towards the red light. It will make some noise and flash different colors, but that just shows us that you're here and that you want to chat. Um, <gasps> Ram pod just went off. Already. So we've come back to cell 25 where there's been a lot of activity, things like knocking. So if there's somebody here and you can hear my voice and you want to let us know that you're here, if you can tap or make a knocking noise, that just shows us that you're open to communicating. We have heard that, oh, I just got chills up my legs. Oh, and that just went off too. We have heard that there was a woman here who had a baby and we've bought something for you that you and or your baby might like and enjoy. And it's just some music. So I'm going to play this now for you. I hope that you enjoyed that music, that song. Now I'm gonna put some funny things on my ears. If you can talk to me or say anything that you want me to know, I'll repeat it. So that's a way that you can make um, your words known to us. For those of you playing at home, this is known as the Estes Method. It is connect, these uh, noise cancelling headphones connected to a spirit box. I'm gonna be listening to that. That is the only thing I'm gonna be able to hear. Jared is gonna ask some questions, which, I won't be able to hear. I'm just gonna call out any words or phrases, anything that I hear come through the spirit box. And it's interesting because it reduces some bias. And I'm on question duty today. Yes, do you know what you're asking, Jared? Yeah. Normally Jared does the headphones because he does not feel as comfortable talking to the spirits as I do. But every time you've done the questions, you've done a good job, Jared. And we feel like if there is a motherly presence in this room, maybe she feels more comfortable talking through another female. I don't know if that's the case, but let's find out. So guys, while Amy's setting that up, you would have seen already, but we've got a cat ball with the mother-child mannequin set up. Also got a night vision camera over here, giving a different perspective on things. We've also got the SLS camera out in the hallway with a REM pod and another cat ball. And the REM pod has gone off already. Are there any spirits I just here? heard my name. Okay, well, you know Amy's name. My name's Jared. Is there any other spirits? Are there any spirits in this room that wish to communicate? If so, please make yourself known and tell Amy your name. Little. What's little? Noting that that could be in reference to the child. Let him in. He's welcome to come in. Who am I letting in? I'll open the door a bit. Who am I letting in? Oh, I must close on its own. Who, who did I just let in? Are you comfortable me filming you? Something about the door. That's weird because I just opened it. Okay, go on. Lots and lots. Are there lots of people here? Can you tell me your name or what cell we're in? 100. 100 people. Can you tell me what cell we're in? Yeah. What number? 
Why do you keep... Why do I keep asking? I'm just curious, I want to talk to you. I'm hoping you want to talk to me. How do you feel about me being here? Do you like us being here? How? So to communicate, you just need to go up to that device on the bed there next to that lady. 80s? 80s? You're trying to tell me a year. We're not. Go on. How old are you? 200. Have you Albany. Been, have you been here for that long? I'm not sure how long ago, whether that's possible, but it might feel like 200 years or 200 years might be coming up. How do you feel about this Defined. place? Defined. How do you feel about this place? There's a red device out in the hallway, out in the um, corridor there. Can you go out and touch it? It'll let me know that you're here. House. Five. Can you tell me what cell we're in? One of the sides. That's interesting, we are on one of the side wings. Accusation. What were you accused of? Is this in relation to your trial or sentence? Certainly. What happened? Can you tell me? So many of us. Is there lots of you here? Who else is here? Wayne. Is that a first name or a last name? Tell us. We're going to have a look. Where are you looking and what are you looking for? Punish. Is that what happened here to people? Are punished? What sort of punishment did they get? You. You're going to punish me? What did I do wrong? Can you tell me about you? Convict. Wow, that's so weird that I asked. Can you tell me about you and it's like convict? It's very fitting to the... Yeah, I did yeah. it. You did it, what did you do? Did you do the crime are you guilty? What crime are you guilty of? What's the baby's name? Jail. Can you touch her hair? I just got very cold all here. Are you touching her? Are you sitting next to her on the bed? Amy. Amy, yes, that's her name. Are you sitting there with her? Pride. Your wife? She is my wife, yes. What about her? Mimic. Do you want to be like her? Henry. Henry. Am I speaking to a Henry or is your husband Henry? Can you tell me more about Henry? Fellow. Your here. body. I thought I heard footsteps or doors opening then, in the distance. Chicken. I'm actually scared. How did it know? <coughs> this is weird. Cold, 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 cold. Don't know if it's saying it Rock. or feeling it. What are you trying to tell me? Was that you making a noise out there? Twitch. One, two, two.
definitely hearing footsteps out in the um, courtyard. Wolf! Cold! It's very cold here. I'm actually feeling really cold now as well. You're back. Yeah, actually. Are you touching me now? I'm freezing. Pain work addition. Did you work really hard? What did that make you do? That's really cold. Oh, it's freezing. Hundreds. Are you t telling me how many people were here? Can you go touch that sensor, that little ball that's on the baby there? Show me that you're here. If you, touch it, if you touch it, it'll light up. It'll let me know that you're here. You heard that. I've been hearing lots of noises out in the um, courtyard. Can you tell me more, more about yourself? What cell we're in? How old are you? What your name is? Stop. You want me to stop recording? F off. Do you not like me being here? Recording. You want me to stop recording? Wow, oh, that's really weird. I did just say stop recording. Do you want me to stop? I thought you said we could record and we had your permission. I'm hearing noises in the courtyard again. By the coast. Deceit. I'm not lying to you. Did someone lie? Tell me about it. If you go out there and touch that red thing in the lobby, in the corridor, you can let us know that you're here. Modest. I'm not. You're not modest? They are not. You're referring to us? People. Gone quiet on me now. Don't want to talk anymore. Oh. You still here with me? Dictate. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Haunts. I'm seeing her. You can see Amy. Can you touch her? It's you, alright. Can you touch her? You can hide. We're not here to hide from you, we want to talk to you. No. You don't want to talk to me. Morbid. They were particularly... dead. A lot of people passed here, or have a lot of people that were here passed on. Have you been making noises in here, like banging on the wall? Or screaming? Can you do that for us now? I think I heard That is very rude. I do feel a bit offended, is that what you wanted? Mental management. How are you feeling? So I want to debrief, obviously I don't know what the questions were, so I'm not sure was there anything relevant or... Yeah, there definitely was some relevance there and I thought what was curious was things started out sort of placid at the beginning and then you went through a real angry and emotional moment where you said a few curse words mm -hmm. and it almost seemed like something was angry that we were here or that I was here maybe. So yeah, because you said him as well, and I thought maybe there was something that didn't like me being here. And given this was the female wing, I guess that sort of makes sense. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, I feel like the anger was more male voices. Right, okay. Like the off, and I'm pretty sure it said which is obviously that's odd to hear on the, um, well, both of those phrases are odd to hear on the radio, so... 
I don't actually feel like that was interference or anything like that. It seemed legit. <laughs> I I know the REM pod has gone off a couple of times tonight already. I'm not sure if it was while you were recording that or if I'm just getting confused with earlier when it did mm -hmm. it. So we'll have to review the SLS camera out there. Yeah. Um, I obviously don't know if the cap was on off. But one thing I thought was really interesting is I thought I was hearing noises in the courtyard, which is just outside that window. Like, it sounds of like Another footsteps. Window? Just Did I just hear it? I didn't hear it, no. Okay, I thought I heard a beep, but I don't know if that's in my bloody head. But yeah, as I was saying, what I thought was really curious was I was hearing like what sounded like footsteps out in the courtyard. The courtyard's like gravel and like yes. rocks in it, and you will hear footsteps out there. Yeah. I thought I was hearing that. I was sitting on the floor down here and the windows all the way up there though, so the acoustics, maybe it might not have been picked up on the cameras, but I could hear it. I actually thought maybe one of the um, the members of the society had come in to check in on us or something like that. Oh, so they were loud. Yeah, it was like, I could hear it echoing through the window there. I got ice cold a number of times. I actually started feeling cold and you were like ice cold. I started feeling cold and then you're like on your back and I was leaning up against this wall and I was actually thinking, I'm, my back is freezing, okay. but I don't want to move because I don't want to like ruin the, the angle that I had. Mine was always to my left, like as if there was something cold sitting next to me on the bed. It's weird because I'd ask someone to sit next to you on the bed as well. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah it literally felt like, especially because I have my hand out of my jacket like this, this hand was going icy cold, this whole side of my body was ice cold and I was like, ugh, it feels like someone's sitting on the bed that's really cold next to me. So, I say we um, head outside and investigate those noises. Okay, let's do it. You're going to come in? Yeah. Alright, so let's go check it outside. Um, oh, the just went off. That SLS would have got that. So, cat ball just went off. We'll have the camera rolling in that cell in case anything else happens. Take me to where you feel as the footsteps were coming out. So the cell we would be in, it's one of these? It'd be that one right there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, sounded like someone was walking on this. Hear that gravelly sound? Well, let's just check. Hello? Oh look, spider. <gasps> oh dear. You know what, why are we in this cell? So this was a cell for seamen and Aboriginal peoples and what is very interesting is it's actually the uh, what is believed to be the oldest Aboriginal prison art in Australia on these walls. Mm. So I, was just I think it's the oldest it prison, oldest Indigenous prison art I think, right? Yes, that's right, yeah. sorry. Just there and there's also a lot of these scratch type marks as well. I don't know if they were symbolising markers for, you know, how long you spent here or is just someone passing time but there's a lot of that type of pattern here as well very interesting Well, we looked around and no one here We're, We're literally locked inside here Got this place to ourselves, so that was really odd And there's a prison with all glass, you know, on top of the walls so I doubt anyone's Snuck in, huh? No one's getting in. No one's getting out. Guys, it's been a lot going on down this end of the jail. And I appreciate, you know, I felt earlier that the men's area was going to be very active and supposedly it is. But we kind of got drawn into this area. So if you guys aren't... Ooh. Thank you so much. There's someone here. Go towards that red light. Touch any of these balls on the table that I light up. 
And just for those playing at home, this kitchen's right next door to cell 25 where we just were. Yes. So part two, we're gonna focus in more on the men's area. So make sure you're subscribed, have your notification bell turned on. We do feel as though there's something going on. Obviously, like REM pod just went off. Catbulls have been going off while we're setting up. I'm gonna run our new newer app called Ghost Tube Vox. Um, this plays into like sound manipulation theories of the paranormal and I think it's just gonna be an interesting tool to use here. Estes was quite active. I heard a lot of voices, a lot of words coming through. So I'm interested to use a different tool and see if we get similar kind of results or come through. So again, my name is Amy, I'm here with Jared and I do have the feeling there's a lady around trying to communicate with us tonight. And if that is the case, we would love to hear from you. If you could step forward, come towards the lights in my hands, I can't hurt you. Maybe you can give us your name. Who is the mother here? So I've just rolled um, a still night vision camera in this cell, just because it it's a cell where the stories and things were happening. So we're gonna stay out in the corridor, but I think it's gonna be interesting to capture anything in there as well. I get the feeling that you know my name. Can you say Amy very clearly? cross something or they crossed us why are you still here intrigue maybe you're interested in what we're doing and we're just here to talk to Anyone still here at the Albany Jail? If you have a message, we'd love to convey your message for you. Oh, this is the bird cell. I, literally, guys, just because it sounds like a bird. Film me. Is there a mannequin in there? Oh my God, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, there is. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, I'm seeing something white on the bed. You're not confined to your cell anymore. You can come out here with us. I'm letting you out. <laughs> Rampod just went off. Rampod. Should we go towards it or? Yeah. Can you come down the hall with me? Leave. You just heard the word leave? I thought I heard a woman say leave. Well, let's go in here because that's where the REM pod just went off. Leave. Leave. Where would you like us to go? Can you sit at the table just there? Is there a man here or a woman here? You see that outside? Yeah. I told you I've been hearing noises out in the in the um, courtyard. <gasps> what did that just say then as well? I just got mad goosebumps.
Are you in this room here with us right now? Do something to show us that you're here right now, please. What I have found when using box as well, and this could be true for a lot of paranormal equipment, maybe it takes the spirits a while to warm up to it because I feel like after a little bit of use, we get more clear and better responses. Whereas at the start, it sounds more muffled and you, it does that make sense right i also feel like the same goes with like other paranormal equipment like the rem pod wasn't going off at all earlier now it's been going off a lot you can use our energy if you use our energy maybe you can make this slide up again maybe you can tell us your name I won't lie, I feel like I'm... Okay. I thought I was seeing something before, but it could have just been this. What is this? This is for us. Post box. Post box. Who's here? This is Amy and Jared. There's a noose here. They had one hanging. One hanging. Can we have a name? I'd like to know who's here, please. The wind is blowing something up here, but then I hear something back here. Right? Bakehouse. Bakehouse. Can you tell us where we are? Can you tell us what used to happen in this room? Can you tell us why you're here? Oh really? I can see it, yeah. Oh, again, as soon as we walked in. Can you stop that please? On command. Who did that? I want the name please. Give me your name right now. Can you stop that? Setting. What's that? What what is that setting that keeps going off? That's the the proximity. Do you want us to stay here? Or do you want us to leave? How many people are in this room right now? One. One. Is this one of you in here? What are you doing in here? Came 
from that corner. Oh no. You go first. Can you give me a sign if you're here? It does sound like movement on the wood. See how it says low battery? Should not be empty. Someone in here with me now. Oh, creepy. So many freaking noises down here. <gasps> Maybe, I'm not sure. <gasps> Shit. Did you hear that? I just thought I saw a figure down here. I'm really excited about tonight because I feel as though I didn't come in expecting to spend so much time in the jail in the women's section, but what we have, you know, recorded and documented here has been really intriguing. That ghost tube response of mo mother was so spot on and eerie. It, there's a definite vibe to that one cell. Uh, I, I was feeling very cold in there. I'm, you know, keen as been to review the Esther session and see the questions versus answers I was giving. Uh, you know, we had some noises outside that Jared heard um, as well as I heard before. So much REM pod activity. So I just, I feel really good about this section of the jail, but we do want to spend some time in the men's area, especially that solitary confinement cell. And I have a feeling that that will be quite active over there as well. So make sure you're staying, you know, excited for that. That episode is coming very soon. Have I uh, make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bell turned on. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you want to do any more reading on this jail or any other haunted places from around the world, Jared and I have visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. We also post behind the scenes and extra bonus goodies on my Patreon and my YouTube members are there linked below. And you can follow us on social media. We're at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.